Hi everybody, this is Cindy with Twisted True Crime. Hope you're all having a good Mother's Day. This video is the science of polygraph tests. So, your body has an autonomic nervous system. It's a neural system that connects your brain stem to your internal organs. It's responsible for your flight or flight response. It increases muscle tension. It increases your heart rate. You have a pounding heart. It increases uh, irritability. It gives you cotton mouth, dry throat, and mouth. It makes you sweat. When faced with uh, any type of threat. And it doesn't matter who you are, where you live. These reactions are all universal. The neural system connects the brain with internal organs and glands. Your ANS activity is innate, something that is, you're born with it. It is automatic. ANS activity is involuntary. And has two divisions. The sympathetic branch and the parasympathetic branch. These two branches are active at all times. So what happens during uh, an emotional response. The sympathetic branch is your flight or flight response. It arouses some body systems and it inhibits others. These changes all have a purpose for example sugar is released into your bloodstream for quick energy we're not talking about a red bull drink. Your heart beats faster to supply more blood to your muscles. And your digestion is temporarily slowed. And your blood flow is restricted in your skin. This reduces bleeding. These reactions improve your chances of survival. The parasympathetic branch reverses emotional arousal and calms and relaxes your body. A 
after a period of high emotion. Your heart rate slows down. Your pupils return to a normal size. And your blood pressure drops. And this is meant to restore balance. Um, it helps to build up and conserve your bodily energy. The parasympathetic nervous system responds much more slowly than the sympathetic nervous system. For example, after experiencing an intense fear, it takes 20 to 30 minutes for your pounding heart, muscle tension, etc. to disappear. After a strong emotional shock, the PNS may overreact and lower your blood pressure too much, which could lead to dizziness and fainting. After seeing something shocking, sorry about the typo right there, such as a horrifying accident. So parasympathetic, your eyes, your pupils narrow and tears are stimulated. Sympathetic, your pupils dilate and tears are inhibited. Parasympathetic, sweat glands, um, you have dry palms and inhibit sweating. Sympathetic, your sweat glands, you have sweaty palms, you perspire. Your skin and parasympathetic, it, your vessels dilate to increase blood flow. The sympathetic constricts your blood vessels and you feel cold and clammy. Parasympathetic affects your lungs. Your bronchi narrow and your breathing is relaxed. Sympathetic, your bronchi dilate and take in more oxygen. Parasympathetic, you have increased saliva. Sympathetic, you have cotton mouth or decreased saliva. Your heartbeat slows, which is called hypocardia. Hypo means below. And sympathetic, your heartbeat speeds up. Tachycardia, tachy meaning fast. Parasympathetic, your hair is relaxed. In the sympathetic, you get your hair stands on end, uh, you get goosebumps. Parasympathetic, your liver re releases bile for better digestion. In the sympathetic, it releases blood sugar for quick energy. Parasympathetic, your stomach and intestines increase. Uh, digestion and movement. And the sympathetic, it decreases digestion and diverts blood to your muscles. In addition, your ANS can also indicate lying. You're probably asking yourself. What the heck does Wonder Woman have to do with lying? What do Tammy Lee and Wonder Woman have in common? Has 
has Sin finally gone batshit crazy? Um, don't answer that. <laughs> anyway, this will be continued on part two. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your comments. Please try to be respectful. Have a great day. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.